Tim has made the reference that he went through the Merit Commission, and, and to his credit, he did bring that up to us as the senior staff when Trent was hired, if that would be an issue, as Trent has earned his keep. Now, when you start looking at the chief deputy's spouse being hired recently, the chief deputy's son being hired recently, the nepotism expands outside of just the sheriff's immediate family. His daughter-in-law works back there in the, the corrections division as a counselor. Um, granted, that was before they ever got married, but it was something <laughs> we all knew was coming. Um, you look at those positions, you look at where uh, the recent hires in the sheriff's department in the administrative arena, I think can be eliminated. And when you start tracing all of those back, you find out that there's direct correlation to either the sheriff or his immediate staff, his senior staff. As Mr. Smith said, it sounds good to say that Trent's wife works for the sheriff's department, but when she was hired, she wasn't Trent's wife, and I didn't know they were getting married. Maybe Mr. Smith had some insight that I didn't know about. I think that's unfair to her and the qualifications that she had with a bachelor's degree in social work. Uh, it's unfair, and Trent has a bachelor's degree and an associate's degree. Went through the Merit Commission and did all those things. So if you're gonna start doing that, let's be careful because Mr. Smith came to me and wanted me to hire his niece. And we did. And then he came to me later and wanted me to hire another family member. And we did and we had to get rid of her. So it's gotta be one way or the other. Either it was okay five years ago, and all of a sudden, it's not today. 